breaking news, Nigerians. Over 100 lawyers and judges watch obese video evidence of INEC chairman saying no going back on Beaver's transmission in real time. At the fully backed presidential election petition court sitting in Abuja on Saturday, a video recording was played showing when the Independent National Electoral Commission chairman, Yakubu Mahmoud, assured Nigerians that there would be no going back on using the Beaver's voter accreditation system, Beaver's machines, to accredite voters and transmit scanned polling unit results in real time. Welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for this coming out here. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. Nigerians, as the court session gets hotter, at the fully packed presidential election petition court sitting in Abuja on Saturday, a video recording was played showing when the Independent National Electoral Commission Chairman, Yakub Mahmoud, assured Nigerians that there would be no going back on using the BMODA voter accreditation system, Beaver's machine, to accredite voters and transmit scanned polling unit results in real time. Lawyers numbering over 100, aside the five man panel at the court, as well as visitors, including Ubi and its entourage, watched the video. The flag bearer of the Labour Party, Peter Ubi, had on Friday presented a senior reporter, editor Loki, from Channel's television as a sunpinned witness before the court. The TV station was sunpinned to produce the live interviews granted by Mahmoud and the electoral umpire spokesperson, Festus Kayamo regarding their assurance about the functionality of the beavers of the 2023 election. Lawyers representing INEC, President Bola Tinubu, Kasim Shetima, and the All Progressive Congress had raised objections against the witness and the evidence being admitted. On Saturday, Ubi's legal team, represented by J.S., Oku Takbasan sought leave of sort to play videos regarding the election. The court approved it. The first video that was played was when the INEC chairman had a meeting with political party leaders and other stakeholders saying there is no going back on the deployment of beavers for voter accreditation and the real time transmission of results. On election day. The next was the live interview Chinese television had with Festus uh, Kony when he admitted that there were challenges during the presidential election. He was seen saying the commission issued a statement relating to the inability, inability of presiding officers to upload the results from Beavers to IREF, adding there was technical glitches. Konye added that those who have the knowledge about the technical glitches have made their own explanation to the commission. He also said the four leading political parties deployed over 100,000 party agents to the polling unit and must have been given duplicate copies of the polling unit result sheets. The other video that was played was when Tunubu announced Chesima as his running mate. After the video evidence was played, INEC Council, INEC Council, Peninuru San said he has no question for the witness. Tunubu's lawyer, Akim Olajemi San, asked the, the journalist if the camera, cameraman that recorded the video, including the INEC chairman, were still alive. The witness responded in the affirmative. The court subsequently discharged the journalist from the testimony 
deck. Obis lawyer Peter Afobi San then tendered certified true copies of more electoral documents from Benue State, the EC4 0GBU. It was objected to by the respondent, but the court admitted it as evidence. Speaking to newsmen after the court, Rose Otukpapi said his intention was to make the judges take judiciary notice of what the INEC chairman said about the deployment of beavers. The petitioners are alleging that the actual result is over 18,000 are uh, collated who be would be the clear winner of the 2023 presidential election, not President Tinubu. Nigerians, as you can see, this is really getting, you know, tough. This is the same person that said uh, the election is going to be free and fair. The beavers machine is going to be, you know, a kind of... Um, a, a glory to Nigeria because with this there is not going to be anything like rigging election or whatever. When they vote, then they upload the results at the real time. He made all those promises. But all these promises was not fulfilled. And he still there do not want to listen to what Nigerians are complaining of. The election was really marred with different, different kind of things. And he did not even care to listen. Honestly speaking, this is really so bad. And someone said there, Now shame Tunubu and his family go take come off for Asurok. Wicked generation who saw light, color, darkness, even their fourth generation shall undergo a physical and spiritual black not God is waiting on. This is all wasting of time. Exactly. That is why you are confused. Waste for your waste for waste. Okay. That is what you think. These are some reactions from Nigerians. So guys, let's quickly hear from you. What's your take on this? Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Thank you for this coming out here. God bless you. Bye for now.